Hey stampers and crafters, this is Melissa Laws from Melissa Stamps and today I'm bringing you a more advanced project. This one is something that's taken me quite some time to master. If you watch her tail, you can see the mermaid's tail moves and she swims along. <clears throat> so I'll show you again. Pretty cool, huh? So what I used to make this happen was several things. I used the Magical Mermaid stamp set. I used the You Move Me Thinlets. And I'm using the what looks like an air conditioning vent. And then this little cutout right here. And I mimicked what happens with the actual stamp set. So it took me some time. I, I saw a tutorial from, I think it was Donna G. And she showed how to do a, how to do the, uh, the bumblebee, but nothing as big as the mermaid. So it took me a little bit to work with it and get the, get the idea down. So what you'll need is a piece of mint macaroon five and a half by four and a quarter another piece of mint macaroon that's four and a quarter by three and a half a piece of whisper white that's three by five and a half and you'll need some plain copy paper and I'll show you what we'll do with this and if you look at this I use several different stamp sets I did do some aqua painting I'm not going to do the entire um, painting I'll do the stamping but I won't do all the inking and and um, aqua painting because it takes too long and let me get uh, all of the stamp ink sets ready you'll need pear pizzazz crumb cake wisteria wonder and bermuda bay to make her look like this <clears throat> and i also not to forget i use the stitch framelits and the smallest circle to get this circle that says i'll never stop believing in you and then I use this itty bitty tiny pollen piece to make these little tiny, what look like sea urchins to me, or sea, sea kelp or something like that. Anyways, um, so that became a really useful piece for this project. So let me set this stuff aside and we will get down to how this really works. The first thing you're going to want to do is I took a piece of eight and a half by 11 copy paper. I cut it in half and I used one. I did the vent, the air conditioning vent on two pieces. So it looked like this and I did the vent here and I did the vent here and then I cut this piece real close to the edge on both top and bottom. And let me so show you how I set up my big shot the only way that i could get the vent to cut out properly was to use a shim which was two pieces of less expensive cardstock not stamping up cardstock it's too thick so what i did was i took my platform put the two pieces of less expensive cardstock down put my cutting plate down put the the piece of cardstock and the vent down and then sandwiched it with my top and I ran it through that way and that seemed to make all these little pieces come out pretty easy <clears throat> otherwise they were ripping and tearing and having lots of problems so <clears throat> might as well make it easy so the next thing that we'll do is we're gonna take this piece of three by five and a half whisper white and we are going to stamp our mermaid no I'm sorry you're gonna take the one that's cut shorter you want her tail showing and her body so this one I did in Bermuda Bay And all of her hair did not come through, so I used a Bermuda Bay pen, and I drew it back on. So here we go. And it's okay if her tail hangs out a little bit. You want mainly the tail with the scales. 
and you really have to push so it goes in between the vent lines. Okay, there's one, and then we wipe it off. And we'll close this one, and we'll get our Wisteria Wonder. And then you're gonna use this other one. See how just a little bit of her hair did not come through? That's perfectly fine. So you're gonna take this next piece of vent, and it cuts off her hair and the bottom of her tail. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna line this up so you don't see so these vent marks are covering the Bermuda Bay vent marks. So you're left with another set of vent marks that you're gonna make with the Wisteria Wonder. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. It might when you see it. So you cover up those Bermuda Bay marks, you tilt it at a little bit of an angle, and you stamp again and you push really hard to get in between those vent lines again. Okay, and that did not stamp as well as it could have, but I believe because of the way that the vent works, it will still work. So let's try it, let's test it. Here's the vent. And you can still see the movement. So that'll work. So the rest of the stamping needs to be done. I used the um, the sea plants, and I used pear pizzazz for those. But this was the mechanism. It has to be at a tilted angle. There's some sea plants and some more sea plants. It has to be tilted at an angle and it has to be two different colors and you really have to get through those vent lines. And the next color that I used was the crumb cake and I did that for the little seashells and the crab and just added a little bit of that in here. Ooh, that one didn't. And in here. And down here. Now, when you're actually coloring in with your aqua painter, do not color the mermaid. Do not color any bit of the mermaid. If you see in this one, she is not colored in at all. Her hair is colored in, and her hair is finished with the Bermuda Bay pen, but all of the water with the pool party is not touching her. Otherwise, it will not work. So I took, here's my pool party. I'll just show you a little bit of the aqua painting. If you do aqua painting, it's best to squish from the back and get some of the ink into the lid, like that. And then you just start coloring her in, all the water. And I colored the entire page. And when I did that, I used my heat tool to set the color. So we're not gonna do any more. You get the idea of what we're going for. The next thing we do, I set it with the heat tool and then it warped it a little bit. So I had to kind of mush and mash on it so that this bottom end was pointing down. And then when you run the card, you can kind of lift it. Otherwise, it will not go through. Isn't that the coolest? I just love this. See how it kind of caught? you got to lift the bottom of the card a little bit because the cardstock warps from all of the aqua painting. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our main piece of mint macaroon and we're going to stick this down. And I ran 
tear and tape on the very, very edge to give as much room for the card to go through as possible. <clears throat> so tear and tape on the very edge. I was so excited when I figured out I could do this with this card or with this mermaid. I love this mermaid. And I really, I've made a couple of cards with her and everything I've done with her has been kind of difficult. I don't understand. It's, it's a standard stamp set, but everything I've made has been really kind of over the top, but she deserves it. She is the coolest little mermaid. So I lined up the card. I go above, if you notice the bottom is here, I go above a little bit, there's no actual measurement, line it up and stick it down and you'll see her start to move. See your flutter? Then I took some sequins, these are the um, sequins trim. And I took a piece, I thought these looked like fish scales, and I thought that's very appropriate. And I took some of the glue dots, two glue dots, <clears throat> one on each end. And I lined it up like this, kind of rounded. And then I attached it. I did cut this. If you see the You Move Me set, it comes like this. Here's the air conditioning vent. This piece right here is what I used to cut this cutout. That's what it's for. So there's your, oops, that didn't go as planned. So there's your hook to be able to pull out the mermaid. We'll slip her back in there. Remember sometimes it helps to poke out the bottom so it doesn't hit. It really catches more on these bottom three. The next we'll be using the I'll Never Stop Believing in You stamp with the Bermuda Bay. And this time I cut the circle and then I aimed. And it works just fine. And then I added a rhinestone to it. And then we glue it down. We're going to glue dot it down. Here's our sentiment. And you can scoot it over a little bit. I just like the placement of it. And then we're going to glue down our little sea urchins. I did three of them. These are delicate little pieces. <clears throat> but they make a difference. And they're versatile. You can use them for the ocean and you can use them for the inside of a flower, which is what they were meant for. Okay, so there you have it, our You Move Me Mermaid. Check her out one more time. Let's push that in. And I like it open-ended because she's so long, 
you need that room to uh, pull her and you got to pull it slowly and there you go and you color her in with the yellow uh, I'd use daffodil delight for her hair and you use the aqua painter for the background and it just looks wonderful so if you like the video please like and subscribe to the channel and if you need any supplies you can still get all of these stamp sets uh, they are current in the uh, Stampin' Up! catalog and that catalog is here on my website you can see it on the right hand side of my website and during celebration if you purchase $50 worth of product you get a free item from the celebration catalog so don't miss out on that and thank you so much for joining me